Good morning. Out of here. Take it easy. Good hustle out there. You'd better wrap up too. See you next practice. Whoa! What's up? I was just gonna sneak back into practice. My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. You said it. I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. Not sure why that has to take so long. Oh, hey, don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, right? I'm counting on you. I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. Doctor told me to take it easy today, but we should still get to practice. Oh, wait, if you're leaving, 
That means practice is already over. Well, guess I'll just go home. See ya. I'm looking forward. Are you accepting a request? Very well then. Good day. A shame. Very well then. How many times do I have to explain it? It's like I'm talking to a moron. Why would you even accuse me? The cigarette butt was in the boys' bathroom, right? Then can you prove it wasn't a girl who brought it and left it there? With that logic, this is never gonna end. I'm done with this. You're on your own. To Neanderthals. Try not to hold it against them. They 
think like children. They just can't help it. Sooner or later, they'll see the light. Then I'll earn their trust, and they'll learn to respect me. I don't mean to isolate myself. I'm just remaining detached. Someone always gets hurt in any relationship sooner or later. I suppose I've gone on long enough. I, I apologize. No point in having a meeting today if no one else is here. Let's go. Emiri is... oh, that's Miss Kano's first name. Anyway, Emiri's really popular with the guys. And I kind of took her away from them, you know? Like she became my girl before they even had a chance. Turns out Emiri's a really strict teacher when it comes to grades. At home, though, she's a real sweetheart. I love how her attitude changes when she's with me. Yeah, good-looking people just flock together, you know? It's like a law of attraction. I know, right? It's like we're actually in a TV show. Anyway, what about you? Make any progress with Takeba-san? I feel guilty hogging all the happiness, so I'm gonna wish for you to be happy, too. And hey, don't tell anyone about me and Emiri, okay? Because teachers aren't allowed to date students. I only told you because I trust you. I'm way behind on my favorite show. Well, I guess that's because real life is way better than any show right now. 
So, you're Fukuyama Gishikun, right? Y yes <laughs> Relax, there's no need to be nervous. Go on and have a seat. Uh, okay. I just want to quickly mention that everyone did an excellent job on covering the truth. Uh, and one other thing to report. I've heard that all three girls have regained consciousness. That's great news! From what I understand, they each came to the school around midnight and waited for the security guard to leave. Then, once the dark hour began, they were attacked by shadows near the gate. Because of the situation's similarities to an old ghost story, rumors naturally spread quickly. I knew right from the beginning that it wasn't a ghost. It's all my fault. What? Where'd you get that from? You were the victim in all this. But all of those rumors started because I was absent for so long. That's totally not your fault. I don't think we could have won that fight if you hadn't been there. You saved our lives. That's not something just anyone could have done. Take pride in that. You have a special power that you can use to help others. A special power? We call it Persona. And right now, our group absolutely needs your abilities. Can we count on you to help us? Are you asking me to join you? That's right. Yuricho Senpai. <sighs> I think you'd make a good addition to the team, too. Sonata Senpai. You know we're not trying to pressure you, so if you need some time to think about it. Do it. It would be my honor. What? Are you sure? If you do join, you'll have to move into the dorm. That's fine. I'd rather live here than at home anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate this. We'll have the school talk to your parents to resolve any issues. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. Aren't we dragging her into this a bit fast? Um, it's okay, really. One other topic I'd like to discuss is those special shadows. We had another encounter this month. While we still don't know where they're coming from, I do believe Sonata-kun is right. They seem to appear alongside the full moon. This, at least, will help us plan for the future. So, the next full moon is showtime, huh? Knowing when to expect them is a big advantage for us. Now, on the day of the fight, we'll be ready to get in the ring.
you here? Apparently, Mr. Okoda's in hot water. Really? What'd he do? I don't know, but I think it's serious. Sexual harassment, maybe? <laughs> I can totally see that. Um, good morning. <sighs> hey, look! It's the ghost girl! Quiet, she can hear you! Oh, Fuka, you're here. Moriyama-san? I heard you started living in the dorms. Yes. You're looking glum today, as usual. Well, if you got something on your mind, you can always talk to me. You could probably use a friend, huh? Moriyama-san. Come on, you don't gotta be so stiff. Just call me Natsuki. Thank you. Hey there. Whoa, man, I keep running into you at the weirdest times. You remembered what we talked about last time. Nothing gets past you, eh? So, yeah. I just got back from the hospital. They had the results from my last exam. And, well, I... God, I'm kidding! Why can't I stand up? <laughs> Thanks. Funny, huh? All from just crouching down to tie my shoes. The thing you were around. If it were anyone else, the rest of the team would have found out. Thanks, man. Really grateful to have you as a friend. All right, I'm gonna go train by myself. Even if practice is over, can't skip out on training. Big Neat's not that far off. You're heading home, right? Then we'll train together next time. Take it easy.
you've prevailed yet again. Do you remember what I said before about everything coming to an end? Well, I recalled something else. I'm pretty sure the end is unavoidable. But it's kind of weird. It doesn't feel that inevitable right now, considering the vast potential inside you. Plus, it seems like your powers changed quite a bit. Hey, if you don't mind, can I be your friend? I'm really curious about you. What do you say? Name? Oh, I see. I need a name. My name is... Pharaohs. I know we'll get along great. getting late, so I'm going now. I can hardly wait until the next time we meet. Bye-bye. Good morning. You're all here. I know this is sudden, but the chairman will be coming by again this evening. I'd like everyone to gather at the usual place tonight. He just came by the other day. Something happened? Apparently, he's prepared some special gifts for us. I know it'll be busy with Yamagishi moving into the dorm, but I'd appreciate it if you could all come by. Special? Does that mean we can expect something good? I don't know. This is Ikutsuki-san we're talking about. He's probably just gonna tell us some new joke he made up. Excuse me, sir. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Coming right up. Once you taste this, my friend, there is no going back. Ton, ton, ton noodles. Yes, that's three. Count them three tons. Thank you. 
This is the crown jewel of the secret menu here. Even better than the Hagakure bowl. The simple salt-based broth complemented by the rich, spicy miso sauce. It's like a microcosm of the miracle of creation. It's all about that secret menu. Although, how will people find it if it's too secret? Eh, whatever. The harder I think about it, the hungrier I'm gonna get. Oh, sir! Don't toss out that first bowl, all right? That soup and I have unfinished business. This is a huge honor for you, you know? You're only the second person to taste this after me. Don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. guy you are. I mean, you get to be friends with me. And just so you know, you wouldn't be getting this with my younger brother. Because the Gourmet King's brother is not the Gourmet King. So, do you get me, hmm? Who am I? Go on, I want to hear it come out of your mouth. My word, not so loud! Are you trying to embarrass me? Here, have some of my boiled egg. I had a couple of bites, but it's still good. There's no more talking. The food's gonna be a chewy, flavorless mess if we don't eat up. Sir, sir, you saved that first bowl, right? Cause I'm gonna be needing it. Yamagishi-san, are you in there? Yes, come in. I think we should start heading to the command room and... Huh? You already finished unpacking? I was planning on helping you out later, too. Well, I didn't have too much with me, so I finished a lot sooner than I expected. Oh, are you good with computers by any chance? You think you could teach me? I'm really not good with stuff like that. Sure, if you'd like me to. Are you looking into something? Yes. I figured I should know everyone's defining characteristics and whatnot to prepare for battle. I can't do any actual fighting, so I need to make myself useful. Oh, I see. You're a really hard worker, Yamagishi-san. And you've got an amazing ability, too. Now that I think about it, Everyone in this dorm is pretty amazing, huh? Sonata-senpai is hands down one of the strongest. And our leader has a power unlike anyone else's. I bet Kirijo-senpai is strong, too. And Junpei... Well, he's... whatever. But what do I have? I'm only half the person everyone else here is. I couldn't even do anything the last full moon. Maybe I don't need to be here after all. <laughs> That's not true at all. Huh? I was told that a persona is the power of the soul, also known as your other self. That's why I think a person's personality and feelings are reflected in their persona. For example, Takeba-san, your persona has healing powers, right? That's because there's a kindness in you that no one else has. Uh, I'm not kind at all. I just don't want to see anyone go down or get hurt, that's all. <laughs> Come on, I think akutsuki sounds gonna be here soon. Oh, and you can just call me Yukari. I hope you like it here, Fuka. I'm sure I will. Thank you, Yukari-chan. Sorry for calling you all again so soon, but I brought something special today. Well, let me just show you before I get into explaining what it is. I 
I'd like to provide you with some new equipment. After spending quite some time in development, we're now ready for the battle testing phase. The shadows are getting stronger. You just barely won the last battle. We can only assume they'll grow even more powerful still. That's why you all need something more to stay in the fight. From now on, I want everyone to use these during your operations. Combat gear, complete with a matching armband. And your new trump card in the battle against the shadows. Cartridges that enable the use of Fierji. Theurgy means spiritual magic that could reach the gods in Greek. To put it simply, it synchronizes with the user's emotions, and when the right conditions are met, allows them to unleash an attack of immense power. Oh, you're talking about signature attacks. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for something like this. Okay, how does it work? Well, about that. It's a bit difficult to explain. I think it might be easier if you just try it out for yourselves. Hold on. Isn't it dangerous to use something like this without knowing how it works? Oh, don't worry about that. It's been well tested and determined completely safe. Oh, there's a manual for it as well. Take a look at it if you feel the need. Well, I'm sure glad I made it in today. With Yamagishi-kun joining us, Kirijo-kun can go back to being a frontline fighter. That means Seize is going to have a new lineup after today. And what better time than now to roll out this new weapon? Don't you agree? Oh, would you look at the time? I'd like to talk more about this, but I've been quite busy with the investigation into those large shadows. I think we're on the verge of a breakthrough, though, so I'll be sure to let you know what we find out soon. Okay, I'm leaving the rest to you, Kirijo-kun. And there he goes. I sort of thought this before, but he's rather laid back, isn't he? More like careless. It's fine. We should just give it a go like the chairman said. In fact, since everyone's already here, now might be the best opportunity. Let's head into Tartarus and try out our new equipment. I've been wanting to get back into the swing of things anyway. And this will serve as a good test of our team lineup with Yamagishi as backup. How does that sound? Man, this trump card stuff is getting me so pumped up! I'm gonna be all like, take this! Super Ace Dune Pay Attack! Or something like that. I'm a little nervous since it's my first time, but I'll follow your lead. All right, we'll go into Tartarus once everyone is geared up. Understood. you're supposed to? Oh, but it does look like everyone's outfits are a bit different. Each one is made to complement our physiques and fighting styles. And we're testing the prototype out on me. But it feels even better than it did before. 
It's very light and sturdy. I wonder if it's the same materials they use in the military, or maybe even the ones for spacesuits. Seems like this armband isn't just for decoration either. According to the manual, there are a bunch of different features built into it. For example, it can give you a readout of your vitals. Hmm. What else? There's also a function that notifies you when you can use your theurgy? Sorry, it doesn't look like there's much information about that. All I can tell is that you load the cartridge into your evoker to use it. Then let's make that our objective for today. Make sure to stay alert, everyone. All right, Yamagishi. You're going to be our backup, just like I mentioned before. This time, I'll be joining the rest of you in battle. I'm going too. I gotta make sure my skills are still sharp. Me too! All right. Then including our leader, that will be our team. Wait! I wanna go too! I was so ready for this! You can't just put me on standby! We can't go without our leader. You stay here and support Yamagishi. Really? When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Don't worry, Fuka. Nothing's getting past me. Uh, okay. There he goes again. Fuka, if it gets too dangerous, just leave him behind. And don't be afraid to smack him if he tries anything funny. Okay. Got it. Huh? You get it? Yamagishi. Could you scout the area and find a good floor for us to start on? Okay. <sighs> it seems different in here from before. Well, that's nothing new, right? No, not like that. It seems distorted. It's probably just temporary. I'll try and find a stable floor for us to start on. You can tell that much already? Wow, Fuka. It could be because we didn't enter the usual way last time. Or because of those huge shadows. We have no idea what's gonna happen in here. Not that I'm complaining, though. All right, let's go. Oh! That new sword looks pretty cool. And this bow I got is really light and looks pretty easy to use. I can't wait to see it in action. So the chairman got us all new weapons too, huh? Guess we should be thanking him. He barely explained anything though. Sometimes I can't tell if he's actually helpful or not. All of this has been custom made for us. You can tell because of the C's mark engraved on everything. As always, you're in command. And make sure to check the equipment before we get started.
Looks like we're here. Yamagishi, do you copy? Yes, I'm here. Are you picking up any shadows? Um, it looks like there's one close by. Be careful. All right, let's head over there and feel things out. that I'm always ready leader are you ready then let's go follow my lead what to do show you that I haven't lost my touch. Everything went well. Fuka, you were amazing! Great job! Thank you, Yukari-chan. I still send some enemies nearby. Keep an eye out if you decide to engage them. Oh, we're engaging them, all right. like we planned. By the way... Um... I see. Trick. I'll show no mercy. 
The enemy's down. Let's finish this. I'll slice you to pieces. Perfect coordination. I no longer detect any shadows. All the ones on this floor have been defeated. It's all coming back to me. It would be wise for me to keep battling. Let's keep going then. Let's head to the stairs that lead up. Shadow? No, it's. It feels similar to the distortion I felt earlier. Roger. Let's move carefully and assess the situation when we get upstairs. on this floor so they separated us by force there's danger lurking in this darkness we need to regroup as soon as possible Yamagishi can you guide us uh, why now Fuka where should I go if I want to fault. Thanks, but you shouldn't be so reckless. Takeba, leader! Looks like you both are okay. Sorry I worried everyone. It's all right. You did well in handling an unexpected situation. <sighs> Maybe we should consider starting over. Let's head back to the entrance for now. Good work out there, team! I'm sorry. I should have been able to navigate better. 
I agree. I'm convinced that you're the one we need on support. Yeah, thanks a lot, Fuka. I didn't do anything. It was all you, Yukari-chan. That special attack sure was cool, though, Yukatan. How'd you do it? How? I just focused really hard and thought to myself, I have to do whatever it takes. And while I was thinking that, I kind of felt something surging inside me. The chairman did say the cartridge would synchronize with our emotions. Right. Although, I'm still not entirely sure how it works. From what I could tell, it reacted to Yukari-chan's strong emotions. So this weapon gives the user strength beyond their limits when their emotions are heightened? Uh, I don't really get it. But basically, if we're fired up enough, we can really pop off, right? And thanks to you, Yukari-chan, we have a good idea of how it works. From now on, I should be able to tell when someone can use theirs. I didn't do much. I just got lucky. I don't know much more than anyone else. I'll do more research into how the sinking with emotions works later. Everyone has different feelings when they're fighting, so the timing on when they can use these will probably be different, too. I'd like to give it a go myself, but we should call it a day for now. We can't overwork our leader, and we've got some time until the next full moon. I'm a little worried about the change with the floors, though. What if something like that happens again? Yes. If something has changed in the tower, we'll need to be extra careful when exploring from now on. In any case, we may have had some problems, but we learned a lot today. Not only did we get to test our new lineup and equipment, but we also got to see that we're all improving at a remarkable pace. Aw, Kirijo-senpai! Quit buttering me up. Just leave everything to Junpei Iori, the soon-to-be MVP. Maybe I shouldn't be the one to say this, but you literally didn't do anything today. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey 